The Xbox Series S is definitely the way to go if you're somebody who jumped in on the marketing hype of the Xbox One X. Teraflops, power, resolution. Microsoft really didn't do much to sell the Xbox One X beyond talking about world's most powerful console. And they're using the same marketing slogans and the same sentiment to market the Xbox Series X. So if you're somebody who spent $500 just three years ago, now the console's discontinued, I understand feeling a bit burned. The only game that really took advantage of the Xbox One X that really highlighted the huge difference between it and the PlayStation 4 Pro was Red Dead Redemption 2. Most other games looked comparable. Yes, there were higher resolutions here, higher frame rates there, but it really wasn't enough to market a $500 mid-gen refresh. Sony brought the games, and their games looked much better on the PlayStation 4 Pro, so it really was a moot point. So if you were somebody who spent $500, you feel a bit burned, but you're still interested in Microsoft and the Xbox, you have a lot of digital games, and you want to get that sense of what the X can do with the SSD and the speed and the quick resume, I think it's a great purchase for somebody that doesn't want to get burned and wants to wait for Microsoft to prove themselves, to earn your $500 for that Xbox Series X. And I think with Halo coming out, if that's a smash hit and looks incredible and other other first party titles, then it would be time to upgrade to that Xbox Series X. Now you could say that the Xbox One X will play the new generation games. They're going to make versions of those games to run on Xbox One X last gen hardware, but early on, the medium is only available on the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. Now, I know that's not a graphically demanding game, but they highlighted the fact that both versions of the game, the regular world and the spirit world, are running at the same time. They're utilizing the SSD, so that type of game cannot run on the Xbox One X. And again, three years discontinued. So I understand the sentiment myself. I wasn't ready to give them $500 again for the same marketing slogans without any games at launch to highlight those differences. I know those games are coming, but I really am taken aback by how much I am enjoying the Xbox Series S. So wait for Microsoft to prove the Xbox Series X is the world's most powerful console and pick up the Series S. It's great.